Ja, das weiß ich. <lacht> Angenes da, Hacker bringen das nicht. Angst ist so hässlich. Hey guys, welcome back to Food for Louis. I have a very special guest with me today. This is Charles. He is a food educator and you might recognize him from the final table on Netflix. Food for me is an artistic medium. I worked three and a half years at Oxford University studying the intersection between art and science. Published over 12 papers in scientific journals. I bring the philosophical and the creative aspect, a different kind of perspective on food. What are we cooking today, Charles? I don't know yet, but... Um, <laughs> That's awesome. That's but, awesome. I don't know, but, we, but I got uh, the most ethically sourced um, products I could find, and um, they're all kind of fresh foods and also some things that were left over in my fridge uh, that I didn't know what to go to waste, so we're going to create something together. Oh my god, this is, this is the most exciting episode yet. <laughs> we are creating a surprise. So as you can see, there's zero plastic in here. Um, I chose the ingredients not only because they were beautiful and local, mm. but also because they were not wrapped in plastic. Here's some uh, tomatoes, some onions, some asparagus that are in season, some corn, very important ingredient, very important staple worldwide. Something exciting. Oh yeah. Some habanero chilies, I love spicy. This is, uh, I think, the second or third uh, spiciest um, chili <laughs> in the world. Very nice. Okay. Um, some oyster mushrooms. Wow. The main star of uh, our dish, I think, is going to be this mushroom. What type of mushroom is that? Um, I think they're called King Oyster. I'm not sure exactly about the name, but they're absolutely beautiful. They have an incredible texture. Some coconut milk to make a, a sauce. Nice. I'm traveling tomorrow and yeah. I had some ingredients left over in my fridge. Yeah, nice. And I wanted to bring all the things so they wouldn't go to waste. So we have some um, bok choy. We have some uh, rapini, rapini, which some of the some of the, the leaves are turning yellow, but they're still perfectly edible. Yes, what's rapini? Is it like broccoli? It's like, it's like a type of broccoli, yeah. Like broccoli. Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, it, it's even flowering in the oh, fridge, wow. right? So we're gonna use these flowers for decoration. Like someone, if you don't know this, you can be like, oh, it's growing old, put it in the trash. It's actually still alive, right? Nice. The flowers are still blooming. Some peppers that I did not finish. Some uh, anato, this is my favorite condiment from yeah. uh, South America. Um, we call it achote. You can smell, it has a very potent, Whoa. beautiful smell. Yeah. yeah. Finally, we have uh, a sweet potato that I cooked in the, in the, in the oven uh, a few days ago. So we'll see how, how this is going to come together. Perfect. Right, so that's it. Nice. We're gonna set up our, our table mm -hmm. as a working station to be able to produce fast and clean. Yeah. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna wear my apron. Um, I've got my apron on already. That's good. Shout out to YouTube, you thanks need, for sending me this. <laughs> you need a kitchen towel, Oh yes. yes. Okay. Apron and kitchen towel and knife is... So I just have this here, like, ready, yeah, to, ready exactly, to grab. Exactly, exactly. I'm so, learning stuff. Charles is telling me it's actually not, obviously not very sustainable when you're throwing from away, trees. yeah, you're wiping, you're throwing away, it's like made from trees. So we're trying to do more just using like washable cloths for wiping stuff down and yeah. stuff. I'm learning, I'm learning. Trying to reduce, I think mm. that's the mindset that we should all get into right now. Yeah. Uh, reduce and be more mindful about every, every, every consumption. And I think originally that was like one of the biggest things that pushed me into going vegan was yeah. like realizing how much more sustainable it is, but after our conversation as well, it's like, it's not as simple as that and there's still a lot you can do to, you know, stop using palm oil, for instance, or unsustainable palm oil. There's loads exactly. of ingredients and things and like buying, sourcing locally so you're not shipping stuff up across the world to like use it in your recipes. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited because a lot of the other episodes I've done, I've just bought whatever random stuff I found at the supermarket, but I think this is nice to think, okay, how can we go plastic free, yeah. locally sourced? I think all of the cooking I do, I want to start making steps to do it like this, where it's all Beautiful. as sustainable as possible. And I'm happy to mentor you in that yeah, process. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna start uh, by doing the longest jobs. The first thing they wanna do is to cook the thing that is going to take most time. Okay. And that's our corn. Okay. So we're gonna start with the corn. So this one we're not gonna use. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna throw it away, right? Mm -hmm. To the compost. But the rest of the husk is 
You can make a broth out of this. Really? It's going to be a sweet broth no that you way. can then use as a vegetable broth to make your sauces, to cook your ingredients. What we're going to do is um, just get all the little bits. Oh, wow. I'll try and catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is edible? A bit hard, maybe. Especially in the center. Ouch. I, mean, I reckon it's edible. Yeah. Well, probably. I'll a bit harder. I'll just it up. <laughs> yeah. No, not edible, not edible. <laughs> we're just testing. So, we're gonna make a sauce that is called Ogao. Um, that is very, ba very basic, very simple. Start by burning the garlic a little bit with some olive oil. So in, in about 30 seconds, it's gonna start getting brown. How are you doing? I actually, this is really fun. It is nice. Because nice. it's, it's quite it nice. is quite messy, but it's, it's like yeah, it's a bit messy. Right. So Some of that this. just squared in my eye. Look at this. It, wait, is it squared on the camera lens? <laughs> uh, I'll put these in that one. Yeah. Oh wow, this is this is super messy. Come check this out. Yep. So Good. garlic and onions yeah. is the start of what? What's, what's this going to be? The sauce. Yeah, that's called the ogao. It's good. Then now we're going to do tomatoes. So take your knife and help me out like this. Just do similar as I do. Mm -hmm. Right. Going to do slices. I actually cut myself the other day. Where was it? I was holding something like this and I was like cutting it like this and just cut straight in and there was like blood everywhere else out there. Gosh, it smells so good already. Yeah. Okay, so we have the sauce going. We've got the yeah. garlic, onions, tomatoes. Yes. What else? And now some of these achote paste. I'm going to split this in half. Yeah. Half of it is going to go to a soup. Do we need to, do I need to open this? Yeah, I okay. hear you have I a very have, nice machine. Yeah, I have this cool, this electric pan open. I'm really proud of this. This is like, probably a complete waste of <laughs> a plastic machine, but it saves you, you know, it saves you like 30 seconds. <laughs> Wait, how does this work again? Oh, nice. Epic. Oh, See. beautiful. Look at that, it's all about convenience. It's not actually all about convenience, but you know. Right, so here, in this little base, we're gonna start cooking these guys. Nice. I'm just gonna cut this little bit that is a bit dry. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut here. Yeah, Right. Because I would have probably just cut there. No, yeah. just this, or even this you can turn. See, why would you throw it away? It's just, not, right, it's just huh? a bit dry. No? But the, 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 the core is absolutely delicious. See, and it's also very beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Right. I like eating, tasting there whilst we're cooking. Absolutely. Our... This, but it's going. It's, it's getting somewhere. Can I taste some of this? Yeah, for sure. So it's um, the corn is not yet absolutely cooked. I'll just do the sauce. It probably needs more salt. Oh, that's so good. Shall right. I taste a little bit of this, or do you think it'll be too spicy? Shall I just do a little taste? I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to ruin the whole food. You know what I mean? Well, let's do let's do a, a tiny bit and see what happens, right? Okay. I'm gonna be fair. It's not that bad. Yeah, habanero. I mean, it's got. I mean, it's got, it's got a, a good. Kick, eh? It's got a good kick. <laughs> it's got. That's a lot. That that's spicy. <laughs> so how much are we putting in the sauce? I mean, I think with the sauce it will. I'm gonna start hiccuping in a second. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some coconut milk. One second. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. What's the spiciest food you've ever had? Uh, Sri Lankan food. Sri Lankan yeah. food. It's a spicier than Indian food. When me and Rai went to Sri Lanka, <laughs> she's like can't do any spice. She has zero spice tolerance, and she she asked them to make the food food with no spice. And they just laughed at her. They just literally, <laughs> and then just walked off and brought out the normal spicy food. So she, she was not having, she was not having a good time with the food. Then. So I'm just 
Just and we can eat this raw as well. Oh yeah, for sure. I actually really like raw mushrooms. I really like them too. Mm. Oh. I think mushrooms are one of my favorite things and there's Sometimes so I many almost things. prefer the taste of the raw mushroom. Yeah, right? So because you just said that and we're co-creating a recipe. Yeah. We're gonna keep some raw mushrooms okay. to put on top of the dish to bring that fresh flavor inside our dish. Okay? And, and if the housemates don't like the raw mushrooms, I'll just eat them all. Exactly. So, coconut milk. Whoa. And this is going to be incredible. What are these gonna be? Uh, these, put them on the side and we're gonna just grill them okay. together with all the all other vegetables. Mm, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to see how the dish is going to look. Okay, I can't see it, but I'll trust you. <laughs> We'll see, if, we'll see if it's finished. So now, we're gonna accelerate the pace just to sum up and then we're gonna do a plan. A yeah, plan, okay? and I'll try not to cut myself even though I'm This, fast this little corn is almost cooked. I'm gonna blend half of it to make it more creamy, right? And then put it back here, it's ready. Just need seasoning. Okay. This sauce is almost ready, just need seasoning. This, I'm gonna chop it quickly and I'm gonna add it at the end on this to just give it a little bit of freshness. These guys we're gonna grill, we can start that now. These guys we're gonna grill separately to mm -hmm. this, right? This. And then I'm gonna take care of these guys to make it look very You're beautiful. Sear those yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, is, it, is this okay? Yeah, perfect. perfect. Out of 10? Uh, 7.5. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of how, how long we see. took to make yeah. it though, <laughs> about three. Okay. All right. <laughs> Blending the corn. Cool. Half of it because I do want some pieces in it, but we're blending part of it, so we're gonna have something more creamy. I'm gonna just olive oil, a tiny bit of water, and you just put your, your, your vegetables to slowly cook a little bit. When the water is evaporated, your vegetable should be cooked. Oh, wow. And then the, the, the oil is kind of covering your, your, your vegetables. Some oil. And then we're gonna delicately place all these babies. Mm -hmm. sprinkle, sprinkle some salt. A bit of uh, Himalayan. Yeah, yeah. Lucas, 10 minutes. We're gonna have some lunch ready in 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is ready. Okay. We've gotta keep it here. Every time, every time, <laughs> without a fail. All right, so the asparagus, I think they're cooked. Come oh, taste I forgot one. about them, yeah. Come taste one. I know what I want to say, but I want you to say it. I like it. Perfect, it's bad. ready. Some oil, you're gonna, you're gonna saute a little bit these guys. Uh -huh. Some oil, and then uh, we're gonna add the mushrooms at, towards the end. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have some ghee by any chance or some kind of... I don't need... Oh. oh. <laughs> this, we need to like... Ah, it hurts. It's so loud. Okay. Oh! So we're gonna cook these mushrooms. Yeah. Um, which are going to be the centerpiece, as I mentioned. In coconut oil to connect with the aroma of the sauce, yeah. right, which is coconut. So we want, we want, we don't, we're not gonna touch them, we're just gonna let them get some color on that side. Until it's brown. Okay, try this. Okay, let me give you a tip. Yeah. You're, you're, you're good. Yeah. But it's not about this movement, it's about this movement. Okay. Because so it has a curve, front. right? Yeah. You can't do it on all the parts. But it has a curve, so it will automatically... So see, I'm not going to go up. I'm going to just go back. See? Okay. Huh? Strong. So yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. I think they're starting to sweat on top. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. We're going to turn them around one by one. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was literally going to say earlier, I was like, yeah, I've been thinking of putting some padding on the corners of these. Ouch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, get a close up of that. Look at that. Here, we're going to add it to the. It's a, good job. it's a good job you're doing this bit as well, man, because that'll take me like 15 minutes probably. Yeah. <laughs> Toss the mushrooms on the asparagus. This one? Yep. You know what? That sauce is a bit strong. Yeah. I'm gonna add this because it's gonna sweeten it. It's gonna soften. It will take some of the spice exactly. intensity out. Exactly. Right. It's complex. Oh but yeah. The softness and. Oh, that's incredible. And then you get the the heat it's of the spicy at the end. Yeah, it's definitely got right? the kick off though. But at the end. Just finishing up. We've got the housemates are coming down. Charles is gonna show us how to present the food. Yes. First thing we're going to do is clean up our station yep, and turn sorry, our yeah. cooking station into a plating station, uh, right? And that's yeah. a very important step when you finish cool. preparing. So we shifted our working station to a plating station. Mm -hmm. Plating station has the spoons, clean, right? And all the elements that you have prepared. Uh, I'm going to add some tahini as well, which I love and I think it's going to work very well. Good, so now we're going to plate. Um, so you do one and then I'll try to copy it. And exactly, see, and then you can perfect. Like... So I'm going to start with a little bit of, of color. So I'm going to make an elegant portion. Mm. It's, not gonna, it's going to be more like a, a, if you were serving a menu of appetizers, this would be the main dish. So it's going to be a bit more of a smaller portion, but it's going to be very, very beautiful. We have this as the main element. Dollop on there. Is that the official uh, cook term? Dollop? Dollop, yeah. I know Whatever it works. I'm like salivating just watching this. It's like all of my saliva glands are just, oh, my mouth's just filling with saliva right now. This is by far the fanciest meal I've been involved with. And you're the fanciest student I've ever had, man. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> Definitely not. That's a t-shirt, man. Yeah. Exactly. Literally the you're least fancy. 100% the least fancy. Super, super. See, this is where I always go wrong, because I'm just like, yeah, here we go, bosh, and then, you know, I don't do any of this. This is, this is where I'm learning a lot. Good, done. That's done. one way to do it. It's not a competition, but we're going to judge everyone at the end, and there's a winner, so. <laughs> <laughs> Feels fair. You need to play it with your plate on the table and you need to play with your two hands. Okay? <laughs> you're, you're, you're playing. Ooh. You're playing with the matter. XO, XO. I like that. Tic tac toe? Yeah, look at that. That's a starting point. Okay, so we, I. We go call it noughts and crosses in the UK. Uh, I go here. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your own dish. Oh, I want Sam's dish already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally an art class and a cooking class. Exactly. All in one guy. Perfect. Food and art for Louis. Art for Louis. Well, we can keep brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's brainstorm that. <laughs> Esteban always started eating. No. Yeah. yeah. True story. What? He was like, he was like, what, 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 about to go in his mouth. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Very, very elegant. I like oh, that you said you chose, yeah. you chose a line and you presented everything on a line. That's very neat. Okay, we everyone served up. I just want to say thank you so much, Charles, for like oh, yeah. teaching and let me help you make this. Hopefully, I'll be able to like learn from this. I learned today it's all about freestyling. You don't need recipes, apparently, so. Mm. Yeah, everyone tuck in, everyone tuck in. Everything, if you mesh everything together, it's also going to work very well. Oh yeah, it looks good. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really healthy. It tastes, tastes really healthy. Is it healthy? Yeah. <laughs> sweet, sweet, savory, and... It's really uh, unhealthy. <laughs> I chose the red paste. Yeah. And then on top of that, coconut milk, sweet potatoes, and our
is it for today's episode of Food for Louis. Thanks again to Charles. If you want to go check out his stuff, we'll link it all in the description below. Yeah. I was learning a lot from Charles today about like how to eat more sustainably and the ethics behind things. So if there's certain topics you want to know more about, whether it's like we touched on GMOs and like using, trying not to use plastic and stuff. Yeah, I can make like whole videos explaining some of those. So leave a comment in the, in the comment section uh, asking about like maybe certain video topics you want me to cover and I can try and delve in a bit deeper. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.